हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आवर टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट रेडियोग्राफी टेस्ट फिल्म इंटरप्रिटेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ द वेल डिफेक्ट्स आर आइडेंटिफाइड फ्रॉम रेडियोग्राफी फिल्म्स सो बेसिकली दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ आवर आर टी एफ आई वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड पार्ट वन एंड इन पार्ट वन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन सम डिफेक्ट्स एंड इन दिस पार्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन द रिमेनिंग डिफेक्ट्स सो इन पार्ट वन आई हैड एक्सप्लेन how to identify lack of penetration offset lack of fusion porosity and excess penetration so these five defects i had explained in part 1 now in this video in the present video i'll explain uh, the remaining defects these remaining defects i'll explain in today's video that is undercut slag inclusion congestion inclusion external concavity internal concavity burn through cracks and finally i'll explain spatters so before starting this video let me give you a brief introduction of myself my name is sandeep anand i am a mechanical engineer and i am having 14 plus years of working experience and my hobby is to share my knowledge through my website that is weldingandentity.com so my website is weldingandentity.com and the second more through which i share my knowledge is my youtube channel this is youtube.com slash welding and ndt so friends uh, you can financially support my initiative by joining my channel see after subscribing my channel you will see a join option a join icon by pressing this join icon you will be able to support me financially so please uh, join my channel and become a member of my channel so in my part 1 in the part 1 of this video i had already explained lack of penetration these are the lack of penetration mismatch high low then lack of fusion then porosity i had explained the different types of porosity like scattered porosity cluster porosity wormhole porosity elongated cavity so i had explained all these in part 1 of this video so these are the porosities this is hollow bead this is wormholes wormholes then finally i had explained excess penetration in in the part 1 of this video so now in this part we will start with undercut how to identify undercut so and undercut will appear as a dark line on a radiography film dark black line on a radiography film and the location will be along the edge of the weld first see this photo so i have taken this photograph from my website weldingandnt.com so these are the undercuts you can see undercut is nothing but a groove which is formed on the parent metal near weld metal see here you can see the groove here you can see can you see this groove so this groove has been formed and this groove has been formed on the parent metal but near to weld metal so this groove is known as undercut here in the second photo also you can see undercut so here can you see this undercut this undercut is nothing but a groove so how undercuts can be uh, interpreted or identified on a radiography film here if there will be undercut you will see a very dark line along the edge of this weld see here this is the edge of the weld and at the edge you can see this dark line so this dark line is nothing but the undercut in the second photograph also you can see there is undercut at the top and here you can see the undercut this undercut is till the last of this film so this dark line at the edge of the weld is nothing but the undercut now friends i would like to ask you a question can you see a dark spot over here so this is my question to you can you recognize what kind of defect is this whether it is a defect or not and if it is a defect you please give the answer what defect is this you can guess or you can if you don't know please write that i don't know what kind of defect is this so this is my first question to you now undercut oh yes see undercut can be formed on external side as well as internal side 
just for example here you can see this is the front side of the welding so this undercut has been formed on the front side of the welding so this will be known as external undercut now what will be internal undercut uh, just for example please take this photograph don't see this excess penetration just i want to show you uh, here if the undercut is formed here it will be known as external undercut means it will be formed either here or here then this will be known as external undercut but if the undercut has been formed on the root side like here on the back side of the welding then this type of undercut will be known as internal undercut so internal undercut will appear at the root run at the edge of the root run so here in this photo you can recognize this portion is the root portion root run okay and on the root run here you can see this dark line so this dark line is nothing but the undercut now you can ask a question that lack of fusion also occurs at this edge only so how we can differentiate with that see friends lack of fusion will always occur in occur in a very straight line very straight line but here you can see let me erase the red dots then you will but here you can see that these this dark line is not straight hence it is an internal undercut so like this you can you know differentiate between undercut and lack of fusion lack of fusion will be a very straight line however internal undercut will not be a straight line you can see very clearly this is not straight now our next defect is slag inclusion see slag slag inclusions are you know very irregularly irregular shaped you know dark spots so you will see dark spot and it will be irregular shape as i had explained in porosity porosity is you know a dark spot but it it will have rounded contours but radiography sorry slag inclusion spots will be very irregularly shaped it can be slightly elong elongated also and it can occur anywhere on the weld at any space Un these are unevenly spaced in slag inclusion there is one variant or one type that is elongated slag lines that is also known as wagon tracks or tram lines so tram lines or wagon track are nothing but elongated slag slag lines these are elongated or long slag lines and it appears as a single or parallel dark lines but please remember that this will not be a straight line now see here this irregularly shaped dark spot is nothing but the slag inclusion this is a slag inclusion this is also slag inclusion these are or irregular shaped dark spots now in this picture here you can say see this is you know irregular shape dark spot so this is a slag inclusion now friends i will ask you a question can you see this defect so this is my question number 2 for today what defect is this is it a slag inclusion or is it a porosity so friends if you have forgot please watch my Uh, radiography film interpretation part one video. There I have explained how a porosity look like. So after watching that video, please give this answer. Answer number two: whether it is a porosity or it is a slag inclusion. Now here, as I told you, the wagon tracks. Wagon tracks are nothing but elongated slag lines. So here you can see the wagon tracks. These are along. These are nothing but the slag, but in elongated form. So these are. wagon tracks now tungsten inclusion see sometimes in tig welding the tungsten electrode you know uh, get stuck into the molten weld pin and that forms the tungsten inclusion these are very irregular shaped and bright spot it looks very bright white and bright and these are usually very small means uh, almost uh, 0.5 to 1 mm it will look very small very small bright spots and it can appear anywhere on the weld here you can see this bright spot this is tungsten welding 
ट्रांजेक्शन इंक्लूजन दिस इज ट्रांजेक्शन इंक्लूजन दिस इज ट्रांजेक्शन इंक्लूजन दिस इज ट्रांजेक्शन इंक्लूजन सो हियर यू कैन सी ऑल द ब्राइट स्पोर्ट्स आर नथिंग बट द ट्रांजेक्शन इंक्लूजन दिस इज वेरी इजी टू रिकॉग्नाइज नाउ एक्सटर्नल कॉन्केविटी सो आई शो यू फोटोग्राफ ऑफ एक्सटर्नल कॉन्केविटी सी हियर यू कैन सी द कॉन्केविटी इन द वेल्डिंग सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द कॉन्केविटी राइट सी अ नॉर्मल वेल्डिंग लुक लाइक्स यू नो दिस A normal welding will look in this shape. Sorry, let me draw one more time. How a normal welding will look? I know you people know, but let me show you one. Oh, oh. This is very difficult, you know, to draw. But I'll try one more time. see a normal welding will look like this means it will be above the parent metal and the shape will be sometimes like this curved type but when it becomes in concave shape then it will be called as external concavity if the welding has become in concave shape then that will be called as external concavity there is a term internal concavity also when this concavity will be at the bottom side then that will be called as internal concavity so that also i will explain in uh, in uh, later slides but first let me explain you the you know external concavity okay so external concavity will look very dark and the entire welding will look dark wherever there is external concavity so the entire welding will look dark in external concavity yes there is one more term underfill see underfill what is underfill underfill is when the weld metal remains below the parent metal if the welding is below the parent metal normally welding should go above the parent metal but when welding is below the parent metal then that is called as underfill and underfill will also look like this only means entire weld will be look, looking will look very dark see again this photo i have taken from my website weldingandentity.com and from this photo you can see this underfill uh, you can see the weld metal level is down from the parent metal in this photo also the weld metal level is down in this photo also you can see you can easily see this weld metal level is down from the parent metal so this is underfill now internal concavity Yeah, there is two terms one is internal concavity and second one is burn through these two are very different terms but i have taken in one slide because the extra the burn through is a spot like defect spot at one place there will be a burn through and internal concave concavity will be at a some length will have some length so burn through will have, will be on a spot at a spot but internal concavity will have some length see internal concavity internal at means concavity at the root side will be known as internal concavity so if there is a burn through burn through will be at a spot but if there is a you know internal concavity this will go up to some length in the welding up to some length means suppose if your welding is like this so if suppose this is the welding then this uh, internal concavity go will go up to some length so uh it is internal concavity is elongated irregular darker image and it will appear at the center of the weld why it will appear uh, because okay just a say it will because this is the radiography film up to this weld all area will be displayed on the radiography film and since there is you know uh there is this uh, concavity so this area root area will be uh, you know appear dark on the radiographic film and burn through is the diffraction or crater type hole but not it is not elongated it is not elongated but it is a at, it appears at a or it forms at a spot so this is how burn through looks at the center of the welding there will be a darker image so this will be called as internal sorry this is this will be called as internal concavity or suck back because this is elongated Again, here you can in this diagram you can see there is one at one spot this uh, dark spot is there so this is burn through 
now cracks cracks is the most dangerous you know defect and there are many types of cracks but uh, i have taken two types that is transverse crack and longitudinal cracks be because these are the uh, this is how mainly classic cl cracks are uh, you know classified so transverse cracks will appear as a dark line across the vent and longitudinal cracks will appear as a dark line along the length of the weld so transverse will be across and longitudinal will be along the length here as you can see this transverse crack is you know across the length of the weld and it will appear on a radiography film like this dark line transverse across the appear see length of the weld is in this direction so this is across across means this type across the length of the well this is transverse crack now longitudinal crack you can see this is the longitudinal crack this is along the length of the well so this is at the entire radiograph there is a crack so this is how cracks can be identified now spatters spatters are small droplets of welding which are splashed during the welding so this appear as a light spot it will appear at a, as a light spot and it can uh, appear anywhere on the weld and adjacent to the weld on the parent metal also this is how spatters will appear so there are many spatters you can see this is how spatters will appear there are many spatters so friends with the spatters i'll conclude this video and i had asked some questions from you during this video so i will you know expect that you will answer my questions and you will write the answer in the comment box of my video so friends thank you very much for watching this video keep sharing my videos with your friends with your colleagues and it's time to say goodbye